What's up guys? Today I'm coming at you with a new tutorial. And this is a part of my Halloween series. Uh, this one is my vampire look. First I'm taking my jumbo eyeshadow pencil from NYX in the color Milk and I am just putting this all over my face to just give a really nice pale base. I'm just going to use my fingers to blend the product in. I feel like this is more effective than using a brush. Also, instead of using the milk uh, from NYX, you could just get some white cream makeup. I just didn't have any on hand and I didn't have time to go buy any. I'm just going to put a little bit of extra product, especially around the eyes because this is where most of the shadow is going. I'm also going to put some on my lips as well to just deaden them out even more. Next, I am taking another jumbo eyeshadow pencil from NYX, and this is just a black one. I think that's just the color black, and I'm just going to smudge this all around my eyes. Now I'm just taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and blending the product in. This eyeshadow isn't going to be completely like clean. It's more on the messy side. I mean, the vampires aren't like fabulous. I mean, they are pretty fabulous, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Now I'm taking the All Nighter Eyeliner from Urban Decay and just lining my waterline and also tight lining my top waterline. I guess that's what you say. You just say tight lining. <laughs> mm. Taking any black eyeshadow you have, I'm using the one from the Lorac Pro Palette. Uh, you're going to want to pack this onto your eyes. I ended up switching uh, my brush to a more fluffy brush to help blend out the shadow even more. And you just want to keep packing the shadow on until it gets to about this opacity with the black. Now I'm taking the color mauve from my Lorac Pro Palette. As you can see, it's a very well-loved color. It's very appropriate for blending, which I am doing here. I'm just taking it and using it to blend out underneath my eyes. You also want to pull the mauve shade down almost just to deaden the look even more to make you look even more tired and hungry because that's what they were, tired and hungry. And I'm also just blending it out at the very top. Now I'm mixing taupe and mauve and further blending everything and just adding more color to the top. Now you want to take two thin brushes, like eyeliner brushes. I end up using the other brush more than this one, so you'd be good with just 
a like angled liner brush and you're just gonna start creating vein like lines if that makes any sense you can kind of see how I'm doing it here just kind of small strokes um, to create the veins that pop out on the face when they're hungry and I showed this earlier but I didn't mention it I'm just using the color mauve to create these veins And this is what you will end up with on both sides. And you just want to go back in maybe with a darker shadow to deepen the lines up a little bit to make them look raised. And yeah, it's pretty simple really. You're just making little lines everywhere. And a good tip is to keep a light hand while doing these lines and kind of flick the brush up at the end so it's not just a harsh line. Now I am just going to take mauve sable and taupe and I don't know why I started talking in the video I don't know That's really weird and I'm gonna use this to contour my face and I'm starting with taupe first and then I'm gonna go back in with um, sable and mauve to deepen up the contour Also going to contour the sides of my nose and I'm also going to take it up onto my temples you really kind of want to hollow everything out because vampires have thin faces right I'm going in again with the black shadow this time I'm going to use it on my lips. I'm going to put this on the inside of my lips to just really tie the look together. Also, if you don't want to go with the kind of deadened look on your lips, take a vampy red color, like a really deep red, it would also look awesome with this look. And I don't know why I didn't go with that, but I wanted to give you the full vampire effect. Then I'm going to finish up with some mascara to tie the look together. I'm not even going to put any fake lashes on because you really won't see them because of all the black around my eyes. So I think mascara with this is just fine. And that is the finished look guys. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I have a whole series of Halloween tutorials coming up for you all. I figured this one would be really cool because I actually did this last year. Um, I just did this makeup but I didn't do a tutorial and I'm just freaking, I love it. And um, 
I think this is really popular last year, but I don't know. I think it looks really cool, and I hope you all like it, and I hope this helps you out um, to get that cool vampire, vampire diaries-esque vampire look, which is honestly the coolest, like, vampire look ever. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!